Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Point Teeth and welcome back to the WWE Smackdown vs Raw 2007 season mode and why am I on Smackdown? Oh, right, yeah, okay, I remember now, I remember now. So we're in the midst of a, a storyline where we're heading into Mania and we want to challenge for the World Championship. Unfortunately, the World Champion is Triple H. So, Mr. Reign of Terror himself, in the midst of the Reign of Terror period of time, has decided that in order for us to earn ourselves a championship match, we need to run over to SmackDown and beat the bejesus out of Randy Orton. So, let's go do that, shall we? <laughs> if you remember in the Matt Hardy story, for the speaking of, in the SmackDown era, we, uh... We came up against Orton at Mania, and we lost. Orton hit us with like a stupidly big lariat and won. So, oh no, we're not going for the World Heavyweight, are we? The World Heavyweight wasn't SmackDown, we're going for the WWE. Either way, we're going for the main championship. And Triple H is going to make us jump through hoops. Well, we've just received word that SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long has in fact agreed to this match as a way to cross-promote WrestleMania. And this man, good Randy for Teddy, Orton certainly seems up to the challenge. Orton's not sweating nothing, Cole. This kid has gone toe to toe with the biggest legends in this business, and he ain't gonna back down from some clown from Raw. I mean, let's face it. Back down for some clown. Contender on Raw, but this ain't Raw. This is SmackDown. SmackDown won't be intimidated by some Raw contender, and neither will Randy Orton. All right, okay. Taz talking his business. All right, we fought Orton many a times as Matt Hardy. Surely we could do it as Shelton. As you mentioned, he's the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title, Taz, but he's here to take on Randy Orton at Triple H's urging. Yeah. How messed up is that? Who takes orders from the guy they're going to be fighting for the title? Taz's got a point. And that's apparently all he's going to say. Okay. <laughs> we could do this, though. We could beat Randy. Randall Keith. Randall, Randall, Randall Keith. Randall Keith. We can beat him. I'm sure we can. <laughs> he says a little bit worried. <laughs> Oh, environmental grabs. I keep forgetting they're a thing in this game. A big SmackDown welcome to all our North American fans from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz and Randy. Randy getting so close, he can smell what I had for breakfast. Breast smells of coffee and, and regret. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Taz. I was going to say, stop moving. There we go. Dragon Whip, first move in the match. Surprised he never used that as a finish. What a counter that was. Eh. Eh. There we go. Out of the ring. This has been a great match so far. Get up. Get up. Get up, Randall. Get up, Randall. Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make we... a Oh, <laughs> god damn it, just sidestepping me. But if you're gonna be snippy, I'm just you gonna piece of trash. I don't know why I'm suddenly <laughs> turning into the rock. Yeah, drag him, do an environmental grab. Since we just remembered their thing. He's driven his opponent's oh. face directly into the Never mind. <laughs> and it don't look like the ring steps came off the worst floor. Oh well apparently I could do a buckshot. A <laughs> buckshot wheel kick. You know what? Yeah, we'll go for it. Buckshot wheel kick. Buckshot wheel kick. Like okay, never mind. Buckshot lock up. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, <laughs> and it rakes my eyes. The buckshot lockup, I like it. Oh, all right. I wasn't facing the ref, but sure. Eh. Eh. Randy, the ref's down, so he goes for a chin lock. <laughs> you know what, Randall? Whatever works for you, kid. Whatever works for you. I say that not knowing which one of these two is older. Probably Shelton, actually. They both came from that OVW class of about the same time, so there's probably not much in it. 
Shelton, the forgotten member of that OVW class. Oh god. Oh god. I need my shins for walking and kicking you in the face. That move is so dumb, but I kind of love it. Get off me. Stop just doing random rest holds and then standing proud. Why are you you're reversing like everything I do? It's a little bit annoying, Randy, not gonna lie. And then again. Right. I'm annoyed now. Buckshot. <laughs> Buckshot miss. So far, the only move you're actually seemingly letting me hit is a Dragon Whip. Alright, the crossbody that I've made famous with Matt Hardy is not working as Shelton. To be honest, it rarely worked as Matt as well. <laughs> it worked like once or twice, so it looked kind of cool. When did Randy become like a technical wizard? He'd reverse every single thing I do. Get off me. Right, finally, I get a scoop slam. <laughs> and then it reverses the next thing I do. Oh god, Arkeo! I was not ready. <laughs> it really is out of nowhere. But I've already got a yellow head. If he beats me just on that, I'm going to be so annoyed. I've taken, like, very little damage since all he's done is reverse. And he's not going for the pin. Okay. Fair. So you just gotta bend my leg in unnatural directions. Randy Orton working the leg. Get away from me. Wheel kick. Nope. I need to stop calling my shots. Right. That's doing nothing either. Uh, it just got poked in the eye. <laughs> Apparently I'm really good at hitting the ref. Ow. I don't need my ribs. It's fine. Jesus, Orton. <laughs> Ref's down. Come here. <laughs> I don't care. This is how you do it. That's how he moves all. Yeah, uh, take him down. I'm alright. I'm okay. Ref, you're really good at getting in the way. Oh god, no. he reverses that one every time. Just won't take it, will you, Randy? You just won't take it. Slide under. Nope, neck breaker. Stay down. If you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. Don't ask me what I'm planning here. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm just doing things. And they're not working. I gotta tell you, Cole. There we go. I don't know. He's putting a lot of the line going up there. King Kong Lee. King Kong Lee worked. Yeah, chin lock. <laughs> Who's got the rest holds now, Randy? Who can rest hold the best now? Okay. Ryan, the family jewels. Ryan, the Benjamins. Yeah. Come here. I was going to try to RKO you. You ruined the surprise, Randy. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. He does not want to take the book, I don't blame him, to be fair. Diving clothesline. 
Thank God it actually worked. There's the shocker. Referee, you're in the way again. Randy, get up. No. He's low blowed me like six times in this match, ref. Ref, right in the way. Okay. <laughs> Over him. We're done. God damn it. <laughs> Referee just got in the way so often. You know when they say call it down the middle, they don't mean stand in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I'm half expected Triple H to just appear and pedigree me. Here's your winner. Shelton Benjamin. Apparently I just get shown around everybody. See, I'm wearing SmackDown colours. I'm being a team player for my one appearance here. Set to wear blue and gold rather than blue and silver, but still, you know, gold standard. So soon to be. Really? We got no special cutscene for any of that. That's somewhat surprising. I expected Triple H will appear and pedigree me, or Batista to appear, or, you know, something. Randy to be Randy-like and do something strange, like RKO me, or hit me with a chair, or just, I don't know, poop in my bag. You know, something Randy-like, from this time period at least. Ooh, we do have a message on the phone now. I ain't sure Triple H. What is he planning? There is something fishy about all of this. There is very much something fishy about all of this. But we'll find out more in the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill by now. All the fun stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.